to show you how to synchronize a SharePoint site with your OneDrive app on your computer. Now I'm using a Mac to demo this, but it's going to be almost identical on a Windows computer anyways. Um, the OneDrive app that you install on your computer or on your Mac is going to be identical in properties. Um, the only difference is exactly that word. On Windows it's going to be called properties and on Mac it's going to be called preferences. On Windows, it's in the bottom right corner by your clock, and on Mac, it's in the upper right corner by your clock. Other than that, it's going to be identical method, um, whether you're on Windows or Mac. Now, this does assume that you already have logged into your OneDrive app on your computer. So if you have not done that, then pause this video, download and install OneDrive, and log into it on your computer. Then you can come back and continue this video. I've already created a SharePoint site. Now, let me pause there for just a moment and explain what is SharePoint. Uh, some people think that SharePoint is just another name of OneDrive, but that's not true. SharePoint is a database. It's a website where data is stored. Okay, so imagine this over here. This is data, and it's in the cloud. And this is where files are stored, pictures are stored. Um, anything that you want to store is up here in SharePoint, in the database or the website. OneDrive is one of the many ways to access that data. So to access this data in SharePoint, you could open your browser. That's one option. Open your browser and type in the URL and go to that SharePoint site, which you'll see here in a moment. And you can access that data. You can make changes to files. You can create new files all inside that SharePoint site. OneDrive is a second option. It is an application or a software that you install on your computer or on your cell phone. And that software, that application of OneDrive connects to SharePoint to view those files. So OneDrive accesses data inside of SharePoint. Your browser can access data inside of SharePoint or your cell phone can access data inside of SharePoint. OneDrive has an app that you can install on your computer or on your cell phone. And it's a very useful application to have, especially if you're storing files in the Microsoft Cloud, whether uh, in your personal OneDrive or in a company OneDrive that data is actually stored in SharePoint. OneDrive is an application that accesses the data inside of SharePoint. Okay, so with that out of the way, I've already created a SharePoint site called Test. Just created it for this. Um, and it assume, this video assumes that you already have the SharePoint site created and that you already have OneDrive installed on your computer. So let me share my screen with you here and you see that we're inside that SharePoint site called test. Now, obviously I've blurred out certain information uh, for security, but inside of test, you, there's a lot that you can do with SharePoint. And by the way, there's a lot of different types of SharePoint sites that could be created. Some have Microsoft 365 accounts attached to them or groups attached to them. Some have Microsoft Teams attached to them, a calendar, a mailbox, etc. All that is a different tutorial, different conversation. All I'm showing you is in any of those SharePoint sites, you can connect them to your OneDrive account on your computer, and this is how you do it. You come down here in this list to Documents. We're going to skip everything else, and we're coming straight here to Documents. Documents is where any file that has been created in this SharePoint site will appear. It's blank, it's empty because I haven't created anything. And that's part of what I'm going to show you is what some of the benefits are of using SharePoint. Um, okay, so to synchronize this with OneDrive, you see my OneDrive is already synchronized here with my computer, I'm logged into it. And I'm going to tap on this here button, sync. That's realistically all you have to do. Bam, OneDrive popped up, it started synchronizing. This is telling you it's synchronizing your files, you can close that and you're done. You're now synchronizing this SharePoint site to your local OneDrive account, uh, OneDrive app, and anything that is created in here will automatically show up on your local PC. So let me open my Finder window. And as you see here, I've also blurred out a few other SharePoint sites, but the one that's important is this one here that we just synchronized, test. And you see here, test. So you might have a personal OneDrive that you're signed into um, or a company OneDrive, but when you're synchronizing folders like I just did, SharePoint sites, it will show up under its own OneDrive shared libraries and you might have the company name afterwards 
and each folder here in the hierarchy is a different SharePoint site that you have synchronized to this computer. So I have a few different SharePoint sites, but we're going to go under this one, test. Now, on the left-hand side, this is the browser, and this is my local computer. Notice there's nothing in here because I haven't created anything. I'm going to right-click and create a new folder and call it John Test. Now, you notice there it says syncing, and that's because it's sending that data up to the cloud. It's synchronizing it up to Microsoft. So I'm over here in the browser, I'm gonna click refresh and we're gonna see that folder, John test, that I just created. It's that fast. You don't have to click save, you don't have to upload. It just does it in the background as long as your OneDrive is open and running. All right, let's click on that folder and I'm going to come back in this computer to the OneDrive folder and open it as well. Notice there's nothing in there, it's a blank folder I just created. Now in the web version, in the browser version, you are able to create files as well. You can create Word documents from here, PowerPoint, etc. Let's just create a Word document. I'm going to start typing, hi, this is John, testing only. Now, notice I'm not clicking save or anything. I'm coming right back to the local computer and there's the document. It's called document by default because I haven't given it a name. So let's give it a name. Up here, I'm going to click on the Word document because that's the current name, and I'm going to change this to Testing Today. And I'm going to click out of that and notice that keeps that name. And back here on my computer, I'm going to come back over to my uh, local browser version of it. And you notice that you just saw it change there, and now it says Testing Today. So it's already saved. I'm going to scoot this here window over just a little bit so you can see both. This is the browser version. And on the local computer, I am going to open the same document and show you some magic that happens with using OneDrive. All right, so I have both the local computer version open on the right-hand side and the browser version open on the left-hand side. Anytime more than one person is in the file, and that's one of the benefits right there. If you email a file to somebody, they have their own version, you have your own version. Any changes they make, they'd have to email back to you, vice versa. If you both make changes to a file, that's going to complicate things because now you're going to have multiple versions of the same file. In OneDrive, there's only ever one file that everybody is accessing. And when somebody makes changes, everybody else sees those changes. This little red dot here is telling you that somebody else is in this file. That's because over here in the browser, I have logged into it. I have that file open. So if somebody else is logged in and has that file open, you're gonna see a different color dot, might be green, blue, whatever, and their name next to it so that you know this person is also making changes. It doesn't interfere with each other. Multiple people can be making changes to the same document at the same time without affecting anything at all. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. So in the, in the computer version, I'm going to go ahead and come down here a little bit Notice in the browser version, it's already creating those spaces and has a little icon next to my name signifying that that's John Fester making these changes. I'm gonna type, how are you today? And as I type, you see over here in the browser version, it's updating instantly. It doesn't have to click save. You don't have to sync, upload, nothing like that. It just happens. So I'm gonna click over here in the browser version and I'm going to show you the same thing. I am awesome. And you? I'm talking to myself now, don't, don't tell anybody. Um, and then back in the computer version, you notice it showed up immediately as well. You don't have to sync, you don't have to save, nothing, it just happens. So if somebody else is modifying the document, you're gonna see the same thing. As they type, the changes just appear. You can type at the same time, it doesn't interfere with anything. Now SharePoint's not created this way so that you can have conversations like this with people back and forth. That's not the purpose of it, although it works. That's not the purpose of it. I'm just showing you that when you use OneDrive in SharePoint, your data is instantly backed up to the cloud. If my computer dies right now, if I get struck by lightning, my data is safe in the cloud. I don't have to worry about saving this document somewhere else or backing it up. It's already in the cloud. Now, backups are important, so keep backing up, but this is the functionality of OneDrive. Let's go ahead and exit out of this file. And notice it doesn't ask me if I want to save because you don't have to save. It's already saved. It's right here. I'm going to exit out of this uh, Word document. And then back in the local computer, so it takes me back here and there's the file that we just modified. 
and back in my local computer, um, that file's still there. We can go back to the previous folder. Um, go back in here and create subfolders, just like you can anywhere else. Um, you can create anything in here, any type of file, pictures if you need to. Whatever the case is, I'm going to refresh the browser and notice there is the folder. Now it says untitled because it's still syncing the name. So I'm going to refresh again and there is the subfolder. Brilliant. This is awesome. It's synchronized. It's on my computer now. So I never have to go to this browser version again to get to this data. It's always on my computer. OneDrive is also very um, uh, detailed as far as what folders you want to keep a local copy of. For example, right now the stuff is stored in the cloud. And when I open the file, it's going to download the latest versions of that file and then open it. So it makes sure I have the latest version. But what if you know that you're traveling or you're going to go on a, a flight and so on this flight you have a few hours and you want to do some work. And while you're on this flight, you don't have Wi-Fi. I know a lot of planes now have Wi-Fi, but let's assume that you don't have Wi-Fi. So what can you do to get those files? Because once you're on the plane, you can't open these files because it doesn't have internet to download the latest changes. In OneDrive, you can tell it, keep a local copy of this folder or of this entire site on my computer at all times. So when somebody goes on their computer, somebody else has access to the same folder and makes a change, it instantly synchronizes that to your computer. So now when you travel, you turn on your computer, you don't have internet, you still have all those files and you can make changes. When you get internet again, your computer is going to automatically upload those changes to Microsoft's cloud so that all the latest versions are stored in the cloud. So I love OneDrive. I've been using it a long time. Uh, SharePoint is amazing. There's a lot else that you can do in SharePoint. I'm not going to get into everything else. This video was just about how to synchronize a SharePoint site with your local OneDrive account so that you do not have to go out to the browser version each time you need to access one of the files. It's always on your computer. You just go right back to that folder um, uh, for that SharePoint site. Whatever you need is right there. I hope this video helps a little bit and have a great day.